welcome back to calypso moon welcome in if you're new gemini we're doing your reading i'm going to be doing a celtic cross for your overall energy spread for february 2022 then i'll do a small love spread you versus them and then a small career spread at the end thank you guys for watching if you feel called hit that like button comment down below subscribe if you vibe all right let's get into your energies for february 2022 gemini spare guys benevolent ancestors i am eternally grateful for your guidance all right the ace of wands so that's what you're showing up as inspired Something has got you going. Something is going to have you going. Three of Wands, you could be wanting to travel somewhere or you feel like you're on the path that's leading to something. You could have found a new inspiration for something. What is the challenge for February for Gemini? Show me the challenge. Okay, crossing that, we got the Ace of Cups. Wow, <laughs> two Aces. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. So, ooh, you could be feeling like you're very inspired, you're very passionate about something, but what's the only aspect that's missing right now could be something to do with love or deep emotions here. All right, what's supporting the spread? What's underneath it all? The Eight of Cups, underneath it all is walking away from something. So yeah, definitely love is a challenge for somebody right now. Everything else in your life could be going well. You could be very inspired in life right now, but love is somewhat of a challenge. Show me the recent past for Gemini. Y'all like my new deck? This is the um, Tarot Nefertiti, Nefertari. I love this deck. It's nice. All right, this is what fell on the floor, Queen of Swords. Who else just got this in their recent past? Um, Aries. I don't know if I should take these. We got the three of swords in reverse and then the king of cups. I'm not taking those. All right, let's see. If they come back out, they'll come back out. If not, well, admit. All right, show me what your overall thought process is, the overarching energy. What's going on in the ether? We got the eight of wands, two eights, 88. You could be seeing eight, 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 88. Or just the number eight could have some significance. You could be a life path eight. There's some definitely some type of information coming into you, a download, something. Maybe um, spirits asking you to be mindful of 88 in your thoughts when you're seeing it. We got the five of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> so there's definitely some type of information coming in. Could be good news. Could be news about movement, travel. We got the magician here in the near future. Let me scoot these over some. I don't know why I keep doing this. All right. So, yeah, whatever is happening in the future, you're making it happen. happen. You're bringing it about. It could feel easy for you. Something's going to feel easy. I'm hearing that song. Just like magic. I'm attractive. I don't know who sings it. Ariana Grande? <laughs> I don't know. All right, show me the hermit. So, Gemini, I was about to call you Aries. I just did their reading. Okay, Gemini, you could be isolating yourself right now. Or you could feel like you're isolated. You, you could also feel like there's something that you have to do on your own. <clears throat> And maybe this is how you're feeling about love. Maybe it's like you need you're you're realizing that you need to be on your own right now to be able to obtain the success, the status, the whatever, the maturity, the wisdom, the knowledge, whatever it is that you think you need to achieve here. 
you feel like you have to do it by yourself for a while. Yeah, you could just be learning how to get a handle on your emotions. Definitely somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul, realizing your um, shadow work that you need to do on yourself. What's in the environment for Gemini? Ten of fucking swords. Wow. Backstabbing, betrayal, multiple people. This is, could be the, also the reason why you are isolating here. There could be a lot of backstabbing energy in your um, environment. There could be a lot of people coming at you. Um, a lot of people saying things. A lot of people put inserting their opinions in your affairs. There could be people just not having your best interest at heart here. I'm definitely getting multiple people. This is why you're isolating. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. It could have took you a while to realize this. All right, show me the hopes and fears for Gemini, February 2022. What are the hopes and fears? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's, uh, you could be feeling like you're not going to have enough or not enough in time. <clears throat> There's something that you're working towards here. You're building upon. We got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody doesn't have time for heartbreak. Somebody doesn't have time to be caught off guard. Dealing with nobody's feelings. These are not my words. <laughs> like somebody just don't have time for it. That's why they're isolating. King of Wands energy. Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody doesn't have time for other people's attitudes or two cents worth. Mm. Four of Wands. Somebody could be working towards buying a house. This could be a goal for somebody. This Four of Wands has been coming out in every reading. But somebody's definitely building up their... Um, uh, what the hell am I trying to say here? Their foundation, it looks like. And this is something that you feel like you have to do by yourself. We got the moon here at the bottom of the deck. Something's being revealed. There could be something about somebody owing somebody some money here that's coming out. Or somebody's going to finally come out and say something about somebody owing them some money. All right, let's clarify these really quickly and move on to your love spread. <clears throat> Again, this is the overall energy for February. Show me this Ace of Wands for Gemini. Okay. Wow, the Ace of Swords in wow. It is in reverse, but I'm not taking it in reverse. We got the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So you know you're not ready. If this is a love situation, you know that you're not ready. The Ace of Swords is here. It's very clear to you that there's still some emotional childhood trauma wounds or burdens or baggage that you need to handle before you get into something you got three aces right here that's crazy and then we got the strength card in reverse so it's like you need to stop holding back and make the effort maybe this is what you're telling yourself show me this ace of cups as a challenge yeah five of wands like it's hard for you to find love Maybe it's hard for you to be emotional right now. Maybe this is inter an internal struggle that you're having. But it's definitely got to do with love as your challenge. And Five of Wands is automatically a challenging card. It's the epitome of challenging. Show me this. Eight of Cups. Okay, we got the Emperor. So, yeah, you could have been the one who made the decision to leave something here, Gemini. You probably just had already knew that this wasn't going to work out. It wasn't for your best interest and you had a better opportunity somewhere else. But I feel like this has been an ongoing thing for you. We got the four of pentacles down here. There's something about you not being able to give enough in a relationship of yourself. Show me the queen of swords. And that could be that childhood wounding. That could be just the way that you show love and affection. Maybe you're going to revamp those situations somehow. 
Okay, we got the nine of swords here, but it was reversed. I'm getting that somebody might not be afraid to be alone anymore with the moon here. This could be a part of your path right now, you discovering this. Like, I feel like this is a big revelation for somebody. Show me the eight of wands. And Gemini, you guys are an air sign. You guys think a lot. So you could have been thinking on this a lot to finally come to this conclusion. Like, look, I know I need to do something different. Can't keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Okay, Knight of Swords. So yeah, some some type of information is coming into you quickly. Maybe you realize this quickly. Maybe it was suddenly when you realized it, like this is not working. We got the sun in reverse. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> yeah. You seen something wasn't growing. And in order for you to have growth and abundance and security and stability here, you gotta, there's something that you have to build on your own. Or at least this is what you're telling yourself or the decision that you've made. <clears throat> All right, we got the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, okay, so somebody's definitely planning on having some time by themselves, a long time. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. He takes a while, but he takes his time because when he get there, he gonna have all his shit together. So that's good to see you looking at yourself like that and making that, you know, um, self-reflective discovery, acknowledging that there's some work that you need to do. Show me this Ten of Swords. We like to call that shadow work. The Empress. We got the Empress and the Emperor. Somebody feels like they were meant for someone. Mm. But this person betrayed them. So this could be a karmic or this could be your counterpart with the Empress and the Emperor. Also, for others of you, you could feel like a parent, a mother betrayed you or you walked away from both of your parents. Three of Swords. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck. Can y'all see that? No, because it's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, show me the seven of pentacles here. The fool. So yeah, you you know that you like. I just this is like the theme of this read. Oh, I forgot to clarify this magician, but I'm gonna do it right now. Um, it was covered up by these other cards. That is the theme of this reading, though. Basically, you you know that you can't keep investing in the same thing and expecting something different to happen with it. You can't keep having the same behaviors. You can't keep bringing the same baggage. You can't keep doing the same fucking thing and expecting to get something different. It's just not going to work. Two of Pentacles, yeah. Juggling, yeah. All right, show me this magician. Let's look at the magician in the near future. You got the high priestess and magician. That's counterparts right there. Both of you guys could be master manifestors here. You could definitely be dealing with a water sign here too. I've been seeing this uh, Pisces Gemini trend. A lot of Geminis are dealing with Pisces and vice versa. So... This is definitely somebody's counterpart here. And you guys possibly could have made a lot of stuff come into fruition together. But somebody's not ready. All right, show me the four of wands. And we got the four of wands, two divine counterparts. Love, ace of cups, three aces. Okay. <clears throat> Seven of cups. Okay. Okay, so there could be like some type of confusion about your foundation um, as a result. So you might get some type of awakening here that maybe what you thought you needed to do on your own, <laughs> you might not need to do on your own. There might be something that you're supposed to do with this person. But y'all just can't seem to get it right. I don't know what's going on here, but maybe it'll come up in love. 
other than that, I definitely see a lot of growth here for you. Um, Gemini, give me one second to clear the spread and I will be back with your love portion. All right, Gemini, I am back. We're going to do your love spread. On my left side, we'll have your energy. On the right, we'll have your person's energy. This could be the person on your mind, somebody coming in for you that you don't expect. Um, somebody you dealt with in the past, just whatever comes out. I'll try to uh, give as much detail as I can about this person. But let's get going. Show me four cards for Gemini's interest, energy, and love. Energy and love. King of Pentacles. Wow. That's so contradictory to what we just saw. <laughs> Judgment. Okay, so no, it's not. Maybe you haven't become aware of the qualities that you feel like you need to have when it comes to being in something long-term and stable when it comes to relationships. Romantic partnerships. Four ones again. Oh my God. You and Pisces. I'm telling you, there's something with you and Pisces. All right, what else? Okay, Ace of Wands, or Ace of Swords. Okay, so there's something you're going to be, you're, during, okay, this is, this could be why you're isolating, or you will be isolating in February, starting in February, I feel like this is going to be a long process for you, um, but you're, start, you're, you're definitely realizing something here, you're realizing how to be reciprocal, how to give reciprocity to somebody, how to come together with somebody, how to be stable and ready for commitment with somebody this is what you're on the journey of right now all right show me gemini's person all right they got the nine of pentacles this person is very independent they're stable they have a lot going for themselves they really don't need anybody they really don't Oh, there's some type of deception in this person, though. Maybe when it comes to you, or maybe this is just a part of their characteristics. We got the Five of Swords in reverse. I'm getting somebody doesn't know how to lie well. Or somebody can't get away with something. <laughs> okay, we got the Three of Cups. Okay, this person could definitely be t entertaining other people, or maybe if this was somebody you already dealt with, it was a separation because this person was entertaining other people. We got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. All right. Gemini, I feel like your message is very clear over here, so I'm not gonna clarify it, but I'm going to clarify your person's message because let's just see you already know you and if this is you you know whether or not you're taking time out to figure yourself out and see what you need to do to be able to be stable in a relationship if that's your story then and this is your person we're gonna look you don't need to be worried about that you know that already all right see the nine of pentacles i'm just saying if y'all are wondering why i'm not clarifying that side all right, so we got the Seven of Cups and then the Two of Swords. Okay, so I'm getting that this person... Maybe they didn't expect you? Show me, I was just in the Five of Swords in reverse again. Show me the Seven of Swords. Okay, this person could be sneakily watching you. Spying on you. Ten of Swords. Ugh. Yeah, I'm feeling like this is somebody you dealt with before. 
this is the past person that you could have just left or maybe that's got you in this space where you're trying to figure shit out show me the spirit of cups I'm feeling like somebody set something up here the chariot okay somebody I just seen the queen of pentacles slip yeah this is somebody's counterpart here show me the four swords somebody set something up or made a plan to do something seven seven could be significant to somebody sorry about that all right eight of cups somebody was caught off guard stuck and hung up because somebody walked away this could have been you walking away gemini i definitely feel like this person was keeping something from you it definitely could have been something to do with a third party um that could have caused y'all to go on a break or whatever caused y'all to go on a break or separate this person felt stuck Mm. Yeah, they were heartbroken, but they were juggling. That's the weird thing. I don't know. Maybe this was like some tit for tat situation, and both of y'all had did some stuff. But I'm getting this person is very suspicious. They could have always been, always have been watching you. Yeah, I think this person is still going to be stuck on you. And I think that this is like a deeper connection here. Could be a karmic, but I'm feeling like it's something more. This person is possibly your match. And I think you're figuring that out. And you know there's some work that you have to do to be able to be stable to be with this person. All right, let's look at your money and finances. I'll clear this up. All right, Gemini, let's finish our reading. This is your finance section, money, career for Gemini, February 2022. What are the messages, spirit? Okay, something you took a risk on or something that you're not worried about no more is lining you up. Or because you're not worried about something anymore, you're lining up to a perfect opportunity. The sun at the bottom of the deck. Oh, with the devil though. Okay. Let me see. The sun came out. Okay. This seems like it's going to be a perfect opportunity for you. Something that you're going to be able to grow with and possibly stay for a long time. This could be a new job. Maybe that job that you thought you weren't going to get. I don't know. There was some type of risk associated with you getting whatever this is. This money, this new business, uh, a new job. Okay. We got the Hierophant. This could have been something that you've always wanted to do. Queen of Swords. It could have something to do with you using your mind a lot. You like positions where you get to use your mind more. Figure things out. I feel like this job is offering you everything that you need. And you feel like it's an equal exchange with the amount of energy you give to this position or this company. You feel like you're getting a good exchange in return. It seems like there's another reason here, too, that you're supposed to be here. This could be a part of your path, your soul growth. All right, what else? Let me get some more messages for Gemini. This reading is going a little longer. Okay, we got the magician. We got the tower in reverse and the ten of swords. And the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely something that you might have been interested in doing for a long time. 
and you could have possibly manifested this uh, new position after a loss or almost a loss. I'm getting like somebody was right on the verge of being fired. <laughs> okay, so we got the three of pentacles here with the higher font. This is definitely about a new job. I'm feeling like this new position is allowing you to showcase your skills more. Four of Swords, and you're you're getting rest. You're being able to heal in the meantime. Your mind is being taken off of something. Queen of Swords wanted to come out. Okay, somebody definitely couldn't handle their last job. Somebody could have walked away, left it, decided to leave. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you definitely took a risk because you didn't know if this was going to work out or not. But you avoided a tower moment because you found something or somebody that you could work with here. This person was a part of your path. This person could be like a mentor. They could be mentoring you right now. Six of Swords. Yeah, you went to Karma Waters. Definitely doing something better than you were. You could be a lot happier at this place. Maybe even have a lot more freedom. We got the four of pentacles here. This uh, position could be allowing you to save. You could be making more money here. The knight of swords. And the queen of pentacles. Somebody could be um, obtaining a new status, a higher status, a raise, or something pretty quickly here. We got the moon in the reverse. All right. That's what I have for you, Gemini, uh, for February 2022. I really appreciate you guys. I do. And I will see you on the next video. Make sure you hit that like button before you go. Comment down below. And if you're vibing, you should be subscribing. I will see you next time.